Hey, it's Chris with Called to Wander. Thanks for taking time to check out this video. If you're watching, you either have a truck camper or you're thinking about getting a truck camper and you want to know how to load and unload the truck camper properly. So in this video, we're going to show you how we load our Lance 845 truck camper onto our Ford F-250 flatbed truck. Some of the things will be different for you depending on which camper you have and which truck you have, but the principles are the same, so hopefully this will help you out. We've lived full time out of our truck camper since 2018. We've traveled over 50,000 miles through 35 US states, Canada, and our favorites of Alaska and Baja. Both of these places were particularly awesome having a truck camper as the best way to get around and have adventure. So let's get into loading your truck camper onto your pickup truck. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is switch license plate from the truck to the camper. This seems simple, but if you forget it, you're gonna be crawling underneath your truck camper once you've loaded the camper on the truck. Next, you wanna disconnect the camper from any connections. If you are storing it, you may have it connected to power, but you also wanna think about water and sewer connections if you're at a campground. During this step, you're also gonna to wanna to put your slide out back in if your camper happens to have a slide out. Now you wanna raise the camper off the ground. Lift the camper as high as possible, but try not to overstress the jacks by maximizing them out. You may have electric jacks like we do, or you may need to raise them manually with a crankshaft. Note that we use wooden leveling blocks to lift the camper several inches off the ground so that we don't have to lift the camper as high using our jacks. The next step is to start your truck and back it in as straight as possible to the camper. Back up slowly and check the clearance of the jacks with the side of the truck bed as you do. Note with our flatbed, we have less jack clearance than a standard bed. And if you have a dually, you'll also want to have dually brackets, which will have the extra clearance for you when you're backing your truck beneath your camper. Now you want to slowly back your truck until the camper is flush with the truck bed. If you have a standard bed, you may or may not have to remove your tailgate, depending upon your camper. Be sure to check with your camper specifications. Also be sure to check that your camper electrical harness is clear out of the way of the truck and the camper. When the camper is positioned perfectly over the truck and the electrical harness is in position, you can begin to raise the jacks, which will lower the camper onto the bed of the truck. Be mindful to keep a close eye on where the camper makes contact with the truck. Also ensure that all jacks stay in contact with the ground until the camper is ready to sit firmly on the truck. Some motors may work faster than others and some jacks may try to lift off the ground. You wanna keep them as level as possible until the end. Next, you wanna finish raising the jacks. As they leave contact with the ground, you will notice the truck is going to settle with the weight of the camper. Be sure to raise the jacks all the way up, leaving no more than about six to eight inches exposed. This is particularly important on the back jacks as they may scrape the ground when you go uphill if they're not cranked high enough. Now you're gonna to wanna to reconnect the electrical harness between the truck and the camper. Note that in our setup, we also use zip ties to keep the, the harness secure from moving when we drive. Now you're gonna secure the tie downs and turnbuckles between the truck and the camper. Note, most standard truck beds will secure the camper to frame mounted tie downs. But in our setup, with our flatbed truck camper, we secure our camper directly to the flatbed itself. Every tie down and turnbuckle system is slightly different. We use spring-loaded Happy Jack quick load turnbuckles, which are great for quick release for quickly connecting and disconnecting the camper. Note that if you're using the spring-loaded Happy Jack quick load turnbuckles or something similar, you want to check the manual to see how far apart the spring-loaded portion should be from the hooks. Now you're ready to do your final check. You want to make sure that all of your tie downs are secure. Test your electrical harness to make sure that your brake lights, turn signals, and reverse lights all work. You're also going to want to stow any additional items you may have in the appropriate places. In our case, we keep extra fluids, fuel, and leveling blocks in an outside storage area. Finally, remember to inflate your vehicle tires accordingly. We keep ours at a maximum inflation of 80 PSI. Note, if you have airbag suspension as we do, you also want to inflate this accordingly as well. That's it. With your camper loaded on your pickup truck, you're ready for adventure.
One of the best things about having a truck camper is being able to drop the camper off at your campsite and go explore the area in your truck. In our case, we're between the Shenandoah and the Blue Ridge Mountains, and so we're going to go explore the steep and windy roads with the truck and not have to worry about taking the camper with us. This whole process should only take about 15 to 20 minutes, especially as you practice over time. So let's get started. The first step is going to be to try to park as level as possible. While you do have four jacks that can go in varying lengths, you want to try to start out as level as possible. Be sure to turn off the truck once you've got into that level spot. As you're parking as level as possible, be sure to check that the area where your jacks would hit the ground is relatively level and stable. Make sure there's no holes or rocks or other debris that could interfere with the jacks actually making contact with the ground. Line up the jacks so that they hit the solid ground, or we recommend using wooden blocks or leveling blocks. The third step is going to be to remove the tie downs. This is going to be different for every setup depending on what kind of tie downs you have. We use Happy Jack Quick Load Turnbuckles. These are spring-loaded turnbuckles that allow for a quick release when we're putting the camper on and off the truck. It's a really simple process. Note that because we have a flatbed truck camper, our tie-downs go to the camper bed itself and not to the truck frame. You will likely have, with a standard truck, you will likely have your tie-downs tied to the frame of the truck. An additional step for us, because we have our flatbed with customized space, is going to be to remove the items from the back of the truck so that they don't hit the camper in the truck as we're pulling the truck away from the camper. Next, you're going to want to lower the jacks. This is different depending on the camper. We have electric jacks with a remote and manual backup. If you do not have electric jacks, you will have a handle that you will use to crank the, the jacks manually. If you do have manual jacks, you may want to invest in a drill adapter to expedite the process. Note that as you're lowering the jacks, the motors may move at differing speeds, so the jacks may reach the ground at different times. To ensure that all jacks hit the ground or the board before raising the camper, monitor this closely and adjust the jacks as necessary. You want to make sure that before you lift the camper off the truck, all jacks are solidly placed on the ground or on the block. The next step is going to be to raise all of the jacks until the camper lifts off the bed. It's very important that you check all points of contact with the bed. Depending on how level you were when you parked, you may need to check the very back of the truck bed or the very front as those tend to be places that will hit where the camper will hit the truck if you're not completely lifted off the truck bed. At this point, you're going to want to unplug your camper electrical harness from the truck. In our case, we've used zip ties to help hold this in place, so you want to disconnect any points of contact between the truck and the camper. Now that the camper is lifted up off the truck bed, you're going to want to start your truck and move slowly forward. Be sure to check the side mirrors constantly to ensure that the truck is not hitting anything or hitting the jacks at any point. Note that with a standard truck bed, you'll have far more room than we have with our flatbed setup. Now that the truck is pulled away from the camper, the camper is suspended in the air on top of the jacks. You're going to want to lower the camper back down toward, to, toward the ground. We like to have only six to eight inches of the camper off the ground suspended on the jacks. That's it. It's a pretty simple process, but make sure that you stow your turnbuckles and any other gear from your camper so that you don't run over them in your truck and so that you can quickly access them when it's time to put the camper back on the truck. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you learned more information about how to load your camper on your pickup truck. We'd appreciate it if you liked this video to go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel where you'll be able to watch awesome truck camper living as well as all the videos that we have for us living in our truck camper the last two and a half years, traveling throughout Canada, the United States, and Baja, Mexico. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. As always, thanks for watching and I look forward to sharing more information with you soon.